All right, what's going on guys? T-Torres back here for another video. Today's video is going to be shorter than normal. We just got uh, two engine dress up parts from PRL. I'm sure you guys can already guess what that is. But before we get started with the short little install, if many of you guys know or follow me on social media, I got, I'm getting promoted, I got the next rank. So thank you guys so much for showing me love on that post and commenting and yeah, I just, I really appreciate it. And I look forward to, you know, the next step in my career as, you know, as a Sergeant uh, in the United States Air Force. So I take very highly that, that you guys um, show me a lot of love for that. So um, yeah, I'm just excited that I'm actually to that point in my career where I get to become a Sergeant and you know, people look at you different, talk to you different. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for all that. With that being said, um, I am going to be making more money, so I'm going to be looking for a project build. So you all do me a favor, comment down below um, what project build you would like to see. I'm on the fence with a couple different cars and even a truck. I've always wanted to build a diesel. Um, I wouldn't mind building a Cummins, a Duramax. I still want a Type R. It's just, it's so expensive and I could afford the car, yes, but can I afford to mod the car and do everything that I want to do to it? So that is the big, um, that's the big question I've got to sit down and do my finances and see, you know, where I lie with that. But anyways, like I said, comment down below, what project build would you like to see on my channel? Like I said, I got a few cars in mind and I'm also open to building, you know, a Duramax or something like that. You know, I would have the truck and then I'd get a trailer so I could, you know, take the car somewhere, blah, 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 et cetera. And plus, I'd like to make off-roading content too, so I think that would be awesome. So, without further ado, once again, thank you guys so much for showing me love on me making my promotion, and let's get into the unboxing of today's uh, engine dress-up parts. All right, so before we get to unboxing this, as you can see, I do have the Eibach front and rear sway bars. I have to find a free weekend. I wanted to do it this weekend, but I'm completely busy this weekend. I've got family coming in town, so that's not going to work. But like I mentioned before, we do have PRL parts that are here for the engine dress up. I'm sure you guys, many of y'all know what these parts are. If I could get them out of the box. Okay, there's one and here's the other. All right, so as you can see, here's the very first part. We have the PRL black um, oil cap. And here's the part number if you guys are wondering for reference. Let me get that nice and focus for you guys. So once again, that is the oil cap. And then of course, you know, I had to get the, um, the battery tie down as well. Super nice, nice quality parts. Um, and then once again, there's the part number for that. So yeah, we're gonna be installing the oil cap and the brake, uh, or not the brake, but the battery tie down. The only downfall with that is I need to, I believe I have to take this part of the strut tower off in order to get, you know, full clearance up here. So hopefully I can unbolt this, lift it up and over, but I don't know how much leeway I'm gonna have. I may have to remove the entire bar itself. Um, and then of course, oil cap, that ain't, that ain't gonna be no problem at all. So I guess let's start with the, with the easiest part. Let's start with the oil cap. So let's go ahead and open up these goodies. Like I said, today's video shouldn't be too terribly long at all, so you guys shouldn't have to worry about that. Man, what a nice freaking solid PRL piece. I'm excited to uh, put that on my car. And then boom, the nice PRL battery tie down. You know, they do have um, black, blue, and red. I just figured, you know, black's the easiest to go with my car, so why not, why not do black? Um, yeah, because I feel like it, you know, it'd be the easiest to match. So let's go put the oil cap on. All right, so I've already loosened, um, loosened this because you know it's super hard to do this crap. You know, I'm trying to film and have another hand free. So there's that. That's off. And now let's put the nice new, pretty PRL. Look at that. Boom! There she is. All right, so now what I think I'm gonna have to do is. I'm gonna have to get an Allen key, unbolt the strut tower bar there, and the strut bar there. Remove this so we can get this clip uh, right here. There's a little tab right here that you push, and it'll allow you to pull that up and for that to give. So let me get my tools, 
and get this removed and get that bar out of the way so we can get this uh, brake bar. I keep saying brake bar. Battery tie down, dadgummit. That came off a lot easier than I thought it was. Nice. So if you do have a strut tower bar, just remember you're gonna have to do the same thing. Make sure you keep your little washer and your nut secure. Alrighty, so that side is done. Oh, I'm gonna have to do the other side also. It is so daggum hot in this freaking garage. So if you see me, if you see sweat falling, that's why, because I'm freaking burning, burning up in here. All right, so now should be able to remove that. Easy peasy. If you don't have one, get one. I highly recommend it. Plus, it makes the engine bay nice and pretty. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is you have two 10, 10 millimeter bolts on the top, one here and one there, that obviously have to come off. Should be very easy, should not be that tight at all. As you can see, I just did that effort effortlessly. Get that one loose. Super easy. Now all I gotta do is continue to take these two uh, 10 millimeter uh, bolts off. One right there, one right there. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is obviously, you know, repeat the process. Put this one in on this side. It's gonna go down right there, okay. There's a little black catch point that it has to hit. Go ahead and put your nut on so you don't lose uh, you don't lose the bar as you're trying to secure it. Okay. Reach down here for the bar. Okay. Got that one in, and then of course you got to do the same thing. Get the small side. We're gonna get the small side started first. Okay. There's a little hook right where you took this out at. It needs to go in. Okay, got that one secured in. And then of course just repeat the process. Get her good and tight. Get this one started. on that side. Give yourself some room to play with. And start tightening away. Super simple install. Sorry if my arm is getting in the way. I'll show you guys just as soon as I get this uh, nice and securely. Nice and secure. that one's good and tight come back over there Put the cap back on boom she done 
All right, so as you can see, I now have the, uh, the PRL uh, battery tie down on. Uh, off camera, once I get off, off of here, I'm gonna straighten this up. I don't like how crooked it is, but just to give you guys a little visual on what the oil cap looks like and the battery tie down. Super easy, two bolts, one right here, one right there. And then let me see if my camera can pick up. So you see where that anchor point is? Uh, trying to focus on something else. Right there, you can see the very end of the stick barely, but that's the anchor point for that one. And then I don't think you're going to be able to see this one. No, there's a bunch of wires in the way. Let me see if I can get in there. Right there. Yeah, that's where that's where the second one goes. And that's it. You know, maybe five, ten minutes, that was it. So a big shout out to PRL. Thank you guys so much for sending these uh, these two products out. I'm going to go ahead and throw my short tower bar on. And, uh, yeah, we're going to call it a day. All right, guys, it is freaking hotter than Satan's toner. Golly, look at all this sweat just from the maybe 10, 15 minutes I was out here. But, yeah, like I mentioned, it's super hot. I'm going to throw this strut tower bar, bar back on here in just a minute. I'm going to get the PRL uh, battery tied down straight. But other than that, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I do have Eibach front and rear sway bars that we're going to be doing on the channel. We're going to do a full install. We're going to do a video for the rear and a video for the front. Uh, I had the car up um, changing the oil earlier this week. The rear looks like it's going to be a piece of cake. The front, it looks like we just have so much extra BS that we have to take off. So uh, once again, um, please comment down below what project car you guys would like to see on the channel. And thanks again, PRL, for uh, sending me this stuff out. If you're stopping into the channel for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. Leave this video, video a big like. If you did not like today's video, still leave it a big like. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Take this rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that. Ballin', doing this is my calling.